In this video, I wanna show you guys how to print stars out onto the screen in the shape of a right triangle of any size of your choosing. Now, before I go and show you how to do that, I wanna show you what this program does. So I'm gonna run it in the command prompt, and the name of my script is called triangle, so triangle.py. What it's gonna do is it's gonna prompt us, and it's gonna ask, what, are the, what do you want the size of the triangle to be? So if I hit seven, that's going to be a triangle of seven rows. And essentially, that's all it's gonna do. So in the next section of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this. So now there's a, a couple different ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you two different ways. One is with a nested for loop, and the other is with a single for loop. We're gonna do the nested for loop first. Now the first thing we need to do is we actually need to get input from the user, and this input is going to be the size of the triangle in rows. So we're gonna create a variable called rows, and we're gonna set it equal to the input. This input is going to be asking the user for the size of the triangle, so we're just gonna say size of triangle. And then what we need to do from here is we actually need to create this rows variable or convert it into an integer because we're gonna be using this for our for loops. Okay, from here, I'm just gonna create a for loop. So for i in range of one to rows plus one. The reason we're doing rows plus one is because this range function in Python is non-inclusive, meaning that if we just did uh, for i in range of one to rows, if rows was 10, it would go one to nine. We needed to go up to and including that last rows variable. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna print a start of the screen. And I'm sure you know what this does, but if you don't, I'll explain it to you. Uh, this block of code is going to run rows amount of times, meaning that if rows was five, if we went one to five, I on the first iteration would be one, and it would print a star out onto the screen and then go on to the next line. When it's two, it'll print a star out onto the screen and then go to the next line and so on and so forth until we hit this rows variable right here that many times. So if I run it, What it's going to do is it's going to ask us for the size of the triangle. If we say 7, as you can see, it printed 7 rows. And if we compare this to our actual running program, what we're trying to get done, it says the size of the triangle is 7. It did the same thing. It printed 7 rows. But it also printed um, stars that we don't have here. If you look closely, you'll notice that for every row, there's rows amount of stars meaning that for row one, there's one star. For row two, there's two stars. For row seven, there's seven stars. So if we go back to our program, somewhere between printing a star to the screen and going to the next line, we need to print rows amount of stars. And we can do that with another for loop. So if we said for j in range of one, two, can you guess what we need to go up to? If row two needs two stars, so if we're on row three, we need to print three stars, we need to print i plus one. i plus one. And what we need to do from here, so I'm just gonna print the star, print the star. We need to do something a little different here. We need to say end is equal to uh, no space because in Python, this print function has an implicit new line character on it, meaning that every time this print, print function executes, it goes to the next line. If this is the rows and this is the columns, meaning we're on row three, we need to print three stars on the same line. We don't want it to go to a next line. We want this to run three times and we want it to print three stars out on the third row. So um, after we've done that, and we've said we're on row three, we print three stars to the screen we need to go to the next line so that we can print four stars to the screen. So after we've ran this for loop X amount of times, we need to go to the next line, but in this for loop. So we need to go to the next line. We're just gonna print, um, we're just gonna print that because as I said before, the print line has an implicit uh, new line character attached to it. So if we run this, I'll explain to you uh, line by line what this does afterwards. It'll say size of the triangle will say seven, and that's that's what we're looking for. So if that didn't really make sense to you, I'll go through this real quick uh, by hand. So for i in range, just say it's one to five. Um, 
this I will be one for the first iteration of this for loop. So this is for j in range of 1 to 1 plus 1. Remember, this is non-inclusive. So if this is 1 to 2, this is just 1 to 1. That means that this um, is only going to print one time, and then we go to the next line. So for the first uh, run through of this, this for loop right here, we're going to print one star to the screen, and then we're going to go to the next line, which it did right here. For the next iteration, this will be 2. So for j in range of 1 to 2, that means that this is going to run twice. So we went to the next line. We're right here. This is going to print two stars to the screen uh, because we did this end is equal to um, no space. So this is going to print two stars out into the screen. And then once we've ran through this for loop twice, we're going to go to a new line, and then we'll be on the third row. So for 3 in range of 1 to 3, or 1 to 4, non-inclusive, so we'll just say 1 to 3, j in range of 1 to 3, this will print 3 times. So 3 stars out into the screen, and then we'll go to the next line. So 3 stars, go to the next line, and so on and so forth for however many lines that you have. So if we did like uh, 25, that's 25, 25 rows, every row has rows amount of stars. I hope that makes sense. Um, since we're using Python, um, we can actually multiply uh, strings and integers together. So that allows us to do that, do this program with one loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this. We're still going to use this rows variable right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say for i in range of 1 to rows plus 1, what we can do is print i multiplied by the star. And what this does, if you didn't already know, is remember how we did this before? How we printed, uh, we just did this right here. Sorry, let's get this. Yeah, we just did this right here. This will print um, the rows out into the screen. It'll print, um, yeah, let's just run it just to show you again. So side of the triangle seven, it'll just print seven stars out on the screen. So that's the rows. But for every row, we want I amount of um, stars. So if we do i times the, the star and we run it, it'll do the exact same thing. So what this is doing is, say, 1 to 5, and the first one will be 1. So this will be 1 times star. It'll print 1 star to the screen. And then it'll be 2. 2 times a star is going to print 2 stars to the screen, and so forth and so forth. And, yeah, um, that's basically it. I hope that this video was helpful and uh, you got what you were looking for from this video. Um, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future videos.